Hello there. Uh, in this short film I'm going to explain what the inverse square law is and how it works in relation to light in photography. So if I place down a light source next to the subjects I'm going to photograph 30 centimeters away, uh, I take a light meter reading using the camera to get the exposure right and the exposure is a sixtieth of a second at f8. So I take that photograph and then I'm going to move the light further away from the objects. I'm going to double the distance from 30 to 60 centimetres away. Obviously when I do that the amount of light falling on the subject is going to drop off so you can see it's getting darker as you'd expect. But the interesting thing is if you double the distance of the light away from the subject the light doesn't fall off by half it falls off by three quarters. So if I take another photograph still at a 60th of a second at f8 there you can see it's underexposed and it's actually underexposed by the equivalent of two aperture f-stops. So in order to get a correctly exposed photograph when I've doubled the distance of the light away from the subject I need to open up the exposure, the aperture rather, by two f-stops to f4. So it's f8, f5.6, f4. So if you compare the two photographs next to each other both these were taken at a sixtieth of a second at f8 the one on the left 30 centimetres away which is about right, the one on the right uh, 60 centimetres away which is much too dark. So this is the one where I've corrected the exposure, I've opened up by two aperture stops the one on the right hand side, the light 60 centimetres away and the exposure is about right. But if you compare the images on the left and the right hand side they actually look a bit different. The one on the um, left hand side 30 centimetres away there's more contrast between the light and the dark side of the uh, cup and the egg cup and the transition between the light and the shade is is quite sharp whereas the one on the right hand side where the light is further away there's less contrast, there's less difference between the light and the dark side of the objects and the transition between the light and the dark side is much more gentle you'll also notice there's more light on the background as well because the light being further away is spilling onto the background a bit more. So the two things to take away from this are first of all if we increase the light distance from the light away from the subject the light falls off quite rapidly and the second thing is if we move the light source further away from our objects it reduces contrast and these two things are very useful to bear in mind when you're taking photographs under artificial lighting. 